science fiction and, and uh, uh, western, between comedy and drama, characters that are between who they wish they were and who they actually are, and now I wanted to explore what it would be like to blend between interactive <laughs> So talk to me a little bit about, you know, when you make a video game, I think maybe people would assume that turning it into a film, you would want to like be as like stick to the plot as possible, but yeah. maybe is there some like liberties or things that you need to change that go into You know what, the first thing we had to admit was that movies are not video games and video games are not movies. I am honored and humbled that the stories and characters that my team and I created resonate enough and are relatable enough where they are appropriate to adapt to the big screen. But the video game is not the same medium as film. And we are not filmmakers, we are video game developers. So the best we can do is commit ourselves, our resources, our assets to Eli and the cast and this incredible crew of filmmakers to do the best job they can. And this is amazing for me because this is going to be the closest I will ever come to being an audience member in one of the things in the Borderlands that we've created. So I get to feel what it's like to be a bit of a spectator. And I cannot wait to go into this room with these fans 
and watch this movie. Was there any aspect of it that, like, maybe there was talks about changing it or taking it out that you that you were like, no, this needs to stay. This is crucial. Look, I was never a dictator. I did, you know, when we did this deal, I owned the IP and I I could be a dictator, but I did not want to be authoritarian because I'm not a filmmaker. So I, what, from the very beginning, to Eli and the producers, I said, listen, I will always offer you what my input is and what my opinions are and what my intuition tells me, but I'm not a filmmaker, so never take what I say as authority. And there were times where we debated things, and sometimes the notes I offered were turned out to be correct in their eyes, and they accepted them. And other times they said, no, we need to do it this way, and I'm like, you are the boss. Yeah, and yeah, I let that happen. Yeah. Even in a few places where I had the absolute authority, where I could say, no, let's do it my way. Yeah. And, and the movie's better for it. The movie's better for it, and it's a fun, fun movie. I think you're going to have a blast. I love it. Awesome. Congratulations. Cheers. Thank you. Cheers. I remember. <laughs> um, so, can you talk to me a little bit about how Eli is as a director? Oh my God. Well, first of all, um, I was a big fan. You know, before I met him, and then I, I get a call. I was in Budapest. And I get a call. Eli just wants you to come to see him to meet me. I was so nervous, and, and he shows up, hugs me, and he goes, "Come on, come here!" And he takes me away from the set. He thinks we're doing and this and that. And ever since then, like he'll call me. We talk. He's done my podcast. He's been in my house, and he's he's my friend, and that's who he is. And he's like like. I don't know, just a great guy, dude. I love very that. talented guy, yeah. And um, I am a very big fan of Tiger Belly. Thank you. And I've seen you at Largo as well. Yeah. Um, I, I'm curious, kind of like, sort of the vibe when you're around other comics compared to when you're on a movie set. Like, what is, do you have to kind of you yeah. have to change the to clean it up a little bit? Yeah. Is that hard? Like, what, well, I mean, <laughs> yeah. no, it's like I I have my Christian way of being, you know. It's like a, you're a Christian today. <laughs> So, like my morals are like Christian, you know, yeah. like, you know I, I do this a lot, and I go, oh, that's very convenient, thank you, you know what I mean, whatever you say, be, be polite, you know what I mean? And you feel God like bless, that. God bless you and take care, you know what I mean, I used to do all those things, so I did a lot of that. Around Kate. Yeah, yeah, no, but she, um, I forgot what it was, but I, I, she made me laugh, and I laughed, and then she laughed, and she rubbed my back when we were laughing, like, it, like as if we were like, you know what I mean, college, you know what I mean, friends or whatever. And just the whole cast was like that. Everyone was just like busting jokes. So it, felt, it got comfortable as the days went on. You could be more. I have two scenes in this movie. I'm barely in it. Have you seen it? Yeah, no. Yeah, yeah I have like three lines. I don't even know why I'm here. Because <laughs> we all love you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank I love you too. I love you. Yeah. I love you too. All right. Well, thank you for having you so me. Bye. Okay, I love bye. you. <laughs> bye. 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 Bye.
All right, perfect. It was nice talking to you always. Pleasure. Pleasure. Enjoy. Yeah, and she's a final girl, so she knows what she's doing. Uh, like the whole thing, final girl. But beyond that, she. Bring into this question, uh, uh, the biggest mistake that I have ever made. Because every mistake is an opportunity to learn. No, I'm going to get him. I was going to say that that I drove over the other day. It was my Mountain Lake, New Hampshire. Hop in and take a big suit. Why New Hampshire though? Six weeks there and everything. My family's from New England originally. There's a lot going on when I'm in New England. Oh, you said it's lit when you're out. So you tell them what you're doing. I love it. We can just keep doing it all the time. Yeah, we can do it all the time. I will, I will. It's going to be a good time to have a chip. All right. I'm going to step away because yeah, I'm yeah, over yeah. this so uh, story. Uh, because I think my hope is that this film stands as something that is loved by fans of Borderlands, but it's also loved by people that would never play it. And I think last of us kind of did that. Fall out kind of did that. And then, I, then the utility of it makes a great deal of sense. Of this story makes me heard of it. Um, I'm not sure that's true with every property. Uh, you know, I've worked on Red Dead Redemption on that series and we've talked about it all the time. Maybe turning that into something. Way above my pay grade, I don't know. But I do know that what we made stands on its own. Um, but that's why I said, the person who asked me, I said Berserk. It's an old school Atari video game that you could turn into. Look, there's Big Ben Davis. Jamie Lee Curtis is over here. Happy Ben Davis. Jamie Lee Curtis looks beautiful. You're doing great. I want to follow with your point. Oh, hello. Lady in purple. Lady Blanchett. Donner. Do you want me to sign it to your name? And how do you spell your name? Oh, like the Logan, like in... Um... <laughs> Okay, well, I know you're so excited about Kamala, so I just got to how are you feeling about Kamala? Loved. Yeah. Today, did you hear his speech? Yeah. Fantastic. And talk to Kate Blanchett. All right, okay. From last summer and now this, like AI yeah. and all of that. Yeah, um, well, this movie is a movie. We did not use the AI to make this movie. Um, uh, I mean, I 
I think we'll be fine. I love my union. It has protected me and many people that I love. And uh, they're going to do their job. And, and honestly, all the studios that I am working with or will be working with in the future have no interest in replacing actors. So... If you don't think about these things, there will be a divide in quality in the future. So good luck yeah. keeping yeah. your fans around. Do you think that is like actually going to help, like maybe the from the union's perspective, sort of propel that and get that sort of deal in terms of you know? Not you know who you need to ask about this specifically is where's Randy? Yeah. Have you talked to Randy yet? No. Ask Randy about this Randy. because he has the best party line answer and he sets the party okay. so yes that's the man to really ask about this I love it awesome thank you yeah. so much have a good day hi Jamie. you again <laughs> I'm calling child protective services <laughs> what age were you when you saw Halloween 2018 seven yes because the movie came out <laughs> Um, so talk to me a little bit about Kate Blanchett and why. what about her made you say yes to Everything her. about Kate Blanchett made me say yes. She's one of the great artists of our generation. There are a handful of those actresses and actors who, who have elevated the craft to such a place of jaw drop, everything they do. Um, and she's just an extraordinary artist, and I've admired her for a long time. And there was no universe that was going to bring me into a movie with Kate Blanchett. It just wasn't going to happen. So when my agent called me and said that I'd been offered a part in a movie in Budapest in the middle of COVID, none of that sounded good to me. We didn't even have vaccines at the time. And I was like, yeah, none of that sounds good. And he said, yes, but Kate Blanchett is going to be in the movie. And I said... Kate Blanchett's going to be in the movie in Budapest? Yes. I'm not joking. I'm going to be in scenes with Kate Blanchett? Yes. I'm going to be in scenes with Kate Blanchett? Yes. Yes, I'll do the movie in Budapest with COVID and no vaccines. Yes, I will fly across the country, the world, and leave my family and dog and, you know, life for four months to go to Budapest. Yes, I will, because Kate Blanchett's in the movie. Well, and both of you have done such a variety of genres. Um, can you talk a little bit about the importance of like the ecosystem in terms of like having you know it, 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 you know we're not in a good place in terms of Hollywood you know green yeah, But you know what the truth is, it's art. Mm. It's all art. Mm. I've made horror films for much of my career. It's art. The same emotional integrity I gave to Halloween, mm. I gave to everything, everywhere, all at once. That I give to the bear. That I give to. Uh, borderlands like it it's an emotional language we're speaking it doesn't matter if some movies are better the scripts are better some technical skills are better some of the actors are at a more transcendent level but it's art it doesn't matter so I, I'm I have the same joy of doing that job as I did you know, Freaky Friday, right? Now. Like it's all the same thing, yeah. and you, it's just out of our control how it shakes out. Yeah. And congrats on the Emmy. How are you feeling about that? Just to wrap up? very, very yeah. nervous. You are? Of course, because wow. I just don't. It's just I'm. It's just not the way my brain works, mm -hmm. and so I haven't. That wasn't something that I thought about, and then you know, people meant like would whisper to me. I'm like. Oh. <laughs> because it's the work. I loved it. I loved it. It was incredible. So it's the shiny things are not what I'm about. And I've obviously not been about them for a long time. And so now it's a it's a strange new reality and I'm trying to just remember that I love what I do more. I love what I do. I love it. I love the people I do it with. I love the way we get to do it. I love all of this. I love it. I love it. And so, as long as I stay there, the rest of it doesn't matter. Win, lose, doesn't matter. I'm going to be in a room with artists that I admire, and I'm going to be able to be there representing a show I admire and I love. And that, to me, at my age, is like fantastic. Thanks, Jamie Lee. Are you keep stumping for Kamala? Say what now? Yeah, keep stumping for Kamala. I will, like, the, I've already been sending out the word wherever they need. Hype women, I will hype shit out of Kamala. She is fantastic. And uh, did you see his speech today?
but it was, it was incredible. Running over here. Thank you, Jamie. Bring it. Why? Oh. Uh, I, yeah, I was just curious if you had kind of like sort of optimism, how you're feeling about kind of the state of it. Um, honestly, we have our own deal and we're good. So I, you know, my attitude is, uh, yeah, talent should get paid. Yeah. And I don't care if it's AR or whatever, I'm talent. Like, I'm literally a voice actor in our video games. I get it. Yeah. Let's take care of it. Let's get it done, you guys. You feel like AI needs to be kind of sort of uh, regulated more? I have no idea. I have no idea because, I, you know, I'm not sure where the limits of capability are. Yeah. I know that we're all just trying to create entertainment and try to create joy and happiness for people in the world. And there has, to, in order for us to be able to commit our lives to that, there has to be an economy associated with that. But everybody needs to be taken care of. And, and talent is, is the center of that. So, you know, I think we'll figure it out. I'd like to believe we'll figure it out. Yeah. Awesome. Cheers. Thank you yeah, so thank much. you. Thank you. video game adaptations. They've been around for a while, but sometimes it's a question of script or talents or technology or deciding whether it's for you. Uh, good to see you again. How are you? Nice to see you. Um, so you, Kate, and Jack have kind of been like an unlikely trio. Obviously, it worked. You came back for a second round. Like, what is it about the three of you that works well together? God, we had the best time at House of the Clock as well. There's just such love and respect for everyone, and I think that, you know, I'm like a super movie nerd, and Kate loves talking, like, and finding. I could be like a sommelier of going, oh, watch this movie, this movie, you know, showing her movies she's never heard of. And I, I noticed that on House of Clock and its Walls, Jack really gave Kate permission to be funny. She brought He brought out the funny in Kate, and then Kate gave Jack permission to be dramatic. Because Jack's a brilliant dramatic actor. Watch Bernie. He's amazing in that film. So you're seeing Kate be incredibly funny. And Jack being incredibly great at drama, and the two, they, they really balance each other well. So I just wanted to see Kate as a pissed off bounty hunter like Clint Eastwood, Man With No Name, or Kurt Russell Escape from New York, and Jack is an annoying sidekick robot. They just, you don't realize it's the screen team we always needed, and I'm just so glad I got to do it two minutes in a row. Awesome. Thank you so much, Eli. Thank you. Good to see you. I think I 
I would always love to come back to the meeting of the place of the family. So, I just want to I just want to throw this question at you. We're okay. seeing you, uh, you know, in a new a new genre action action superhero yes. films, man. How, how does that feel? Um, I mean, look, it's a good feeling. Anytime that you can bring a different version of yourself to the table, uh, give your audience something that they don't see coming, uh, and more importantly, build a different level of understanding attached to your talent. It's a big deal. So. Doing the role of Roland, stepping up to be Roland, um, this is all well thought out. It's all a plan and it's all about progressively getting to another space. So I can't wait for people to see it. Um, have the takeaway that I know you will. And then uh, it's on to the next and hopefully doing both the same. Kevin, now that the dust has settled from the roast, are you feeling optimistic that it's going to make like a resurgence as an art form? Ah, uh, it's a great question. You know, I think, um, as I stated in some previous interviews, I think that the timing of it could have been better. Um, you know, I think it was necessary. And what I mean by that is just to kind of put the idea of fun and laughter back into the world um, in a raw, crazy, in-your-face well, way, um, I think it was special, right? And I know there's conversations after, and I know Tom said some things after, um, but the whole thing was all in love, and Tom is fine, everybody's fine, and getting back to that concept or that brand is fine. So if the uh, moment presents itself for a good one and we find the right person, you'll see me doing it again. But it was very, very good to punch the world in the face with that type of funny. Any favorite Olympics moments so far? Favorite Olympics moments? Moments. Uh, what would be mine so far? Uh, yes! I'm going to go to the men's, no, the co. No, I'm going to go both. Okay, the uh, 4x100 individual, men, not individual, 4x100 medley uh, men's and then the co with the men's and the women, the U.S. Although the men's uh, ended up taking second, the co took first, but I'm a big swimming fan, so seeing the U.S. get down in any way is always a big bonus. And also, shouts out to Snoop for doing a bunch of crazy stuff over there. You look good, um, I love seeing you shine. <laughs> Thank you, Captain. Oh, I'm so, you know how you wrote it, yeah? Uh huh. So, what inspired you to do this movie? Wow. Wow. Okay, first of all, let's just understand I've gotten a lot of questions in my time. But that question, well, that's a question. All right, so give me a second to ponder that 